Hey everybody, it's Miss Hughes. Today we are going to be reading a story about Easter. It is called The Queen of Easter and it was written by Mary Engelbert. Today we are reading about Anne Estelle and she is going to be the Queen of Easter. She'll be having some guests that show her the true meaning of Easter and a few surprises that she'll get along the way. So let's get started. The Queen of Easter by Mary Engelbert. The Queen of Easter by Mary Engelbert. Every year, Anna Stell's neighborhood had an Easter parade. And every year, Anna Stell got a new hat to wear in the parade. She wanted pink and purple ribbons that hung all the way down her back. She wanted a hat that would make her the Queen of Easter. But her mother bought her a plain straw hat with a blue ribbon, one blue ribbon, one short blue ribbon and nothing else. Isn't it pretty? said Anastelle's mother, so classic. Anastelle didn't say a word. She took her new hat out onto the porch. She put it on and tried to like it, but she just couldn't. Anastelle, her father called, Dinner! Anna Stell sat her hat down on the porch railing. I cannot be the Queen of Easter with a hat like this, she said. And she went inside. A few days later, when Anna Stell came downstairs, her mother and father were very excited. Come here, her mother whispered. Anna Stell was surprised. There, still on the porch railing, was her new Easter hat. Inside the hat was a bundle of sticks and grass and bits of string. And on top of the bundle was a robin. It's a nest, whispered Anastelle's mother. She built a nest in your Easter hat. Anastelle certainly couldn't wear her new Easter hat now. I'm sorry, honey, said her mother. You'll have to wear last year's hat. Maybe we can put a new ribbon on it. That gave Anastelle an idea. The next day, Anastelle took her old Easter hat and went to work. She glued and she stapled, she snipped and she sewed. Not just one new ribbon, but lots of them. Long pink and purple ribbons, lilies and daisies. And she put some plastic grass on top too. But that was just a start. Every day when she came home from school, Anastelle checked on the nest. Soon there were three tiny eggs. They were the most beautiful blue she had ever seen. So when Anna Stell went to work on her old hat, she stuck three tiny light blue candy eggs on it. It was getting closer and closer to a hat that could belong to the Queen of Easter. A week before the Easter parade, the eggs and the nest hatched. Every day, Anna Stell watched the baby robins get bigger and stronger. Their voices grew louder. It was as though they were excited about spring too. On the morning of the Easter parade, Anna Stell put on her pretty new dress. Then she put on her old, newly decorated, 
It was so heavy, she had to hold her head up very carefully. But as fabulous as her old hat was now, Anastelle knew there was an even better one. Outside, everyone was getting ready for the neighborhood Easter parade. Everybody was wearing bright colors, was wearing bright new clothes and big smiles. Inside, Anastelle was busy working. When the parade got to Anastelle's house, she called everyone over. Look, she said, pointing to the singing birds. Her sign said it all. The very best Easter hat ever. The end. Well, thank you guys for listening to The Queen of Easter. I hope that you enjoyed this story and learned a bit of a lesson. Sometimes the things that we want aren't necessarily the things that we get to have. But if we recognize the special parts of the things that we do have, it makes us appreciate them a lot more, just like her special Easter hat. So I hope you did enjoy the Queen of Easter, and I hope you have a great Easter yourselves. And maybe I will get to see your versions of an Easter parade.